our Danny Spiewak joins our team coverage now. He's been out among those fallen trees and power lines all day. Danny. Yeah, Mary Alice and Adam, I think these two cars here on North Pearl Street in the city of Buffalo perfectly illustrate the kind of wind damage we've seen today across western New York. There was a tree that snapped uh, just after noon today and fell on two cars here, knocking out the back windows of both and the front window of this one. Some really severe damage and obviously a nightmare for the people uh, who drive these cars and came out and found this earlier today. But it didn't matter where you were in western New York, no matter where you were, you were going to find some kind of damage and in many cases, it was severe like we're seeing here. It was a frightening day for tractor trailer drivers in western New York. One truck flipped at the 9290 interchange in Amherst. Another flipped near Tonawanda Creek Road in Pendleton. The wind knocked out traffic signals, brought power lines down in North Boston, and caused a tree to topple onto the second story of this house in Hamburg. And behind Main Street in Buffalo, we found Christy, who told us this story. My car got crushed by that tree, so yeah, just a giant gust of wind came and I guess took uh, the tree down and it crushed my car, so that's it. The tree smashed the back windows of two cars in this parking lot. Thankfully, nobody was inside them at the time. Yeah, usually I do eat lunch in my car, so I'm glad I wasn't at lunch yet because that would have been a real bummer. Employees of a nearby doctor's office heard the crash right after the noon hour. Oh my goodness, somebody could have gotten killed to have that if someone was sitting in their car. Absolutely. This car has lasted me a good 10 years, you know, so uh, I, I don't know what can I do. There's nothing I can do, so might as well just, uh, you know, try to get it taken care of. In the South Towns, there were even more trees to clean up. Police responded to these branches sprawled across Rogers Road. And as usual, in a windstorm, they kept an eye on Route 5 as Lake Erie spilled over. The parking lot I'm standing in right now in North Pearl is just a couple of blocks from downtown Buffalo, and we're not feeling the kind of wind that we felt a couple of hours ago. It's definitely subsided a little bit, but still feeling those gusts here in the city of Buffalo, as many are across western New York. Reporting live here from North Pearl Street, I'm Danny Spiewak, Channel 2 News.